David Christian tells, begins 13.8 billion years ago. Pitch black darkness. Here's David on the TED stage. Around us, there's nothing. There's not even time or space. Imagine the darkest, emptiest thing you can and cube it a gazillion times, and that's where we are. And then suddenly, it's, bam! If I am allowed to. A universe appears, an entire universe. And Close that out just so it refreshes. I have it marked here where I left off to see. Daily upload limit. No. I'm pretty sure it was either getting dark out or it was already dark yesterday when I got limited, so maybe in about another hour. But I'll go to my analytics. Up 17 subscribers. So if we go to the um, content here. Filter. Sorry, I'm used to uh, navigating this page on the phone. The app is nice to use. But if you look, I started to upload videos on February 23rd, which. or the 4th, so. No, I think it was the 23rd, but either or, 1, 2, 3, yeah, 10 days, really. <coughs> I didn't think it was that many days, holy crap, I have been sitting in this room, well, for months, that's another story, but just for this example, for at least 10 days straight uploading every day until I get kicked. But if we go... Yeah, as you can see, yeah, 1,082 videos in here. I'm going to go to my channel, not this playlist actually. I just wanted to go to the videos and then go to the oldest. I posted all of the raw clips I've got left of here. I lost some when the hard drive broke one day. I didn't post any of this stuff yet because I'm still with the drone, but all of the drone videos that are in this video are already posted. Same with this video and that one. And this one. And that one. And that Think? No, actually, I didn't get to White's Bay November 2020 yet. I am currently in, um, that's still, that's at the South Island. And I'm currently in the North Island up here. You see, yeah, this is in Opatiki. And, uh, that's not a, how you say it, but there's so many ways to say it wrong. And, uh, one way to say it right. I'm pretty sure I say it wrong every time, but we call it Opo. Opo Tiki. Opo Tiki. <laughs> Opo Tiki. I don't know. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this was in September. Yeah, September 24th. So we still got. Um, maximize this. This is where we left off, so yeah. When we, when we get to November 1st, that was when I first went to White's Bay Beach. Yeah, I just want to go to that clip that was uh, the thumbnail. 
Yeah, I think it was this one. Right. Anyway, I'm up almost here. And then obviously all of these these four, five, six videos will be posted. Every video I posted so far is going to have an individual clip up there eventually. But I'm trying to figure out uh, today what is the maximum, the true maximum upload like capabilities from YouTube every 24 hours. Is it amount of videos, individual videos, or amount of um, gigabytes, like file size that you're uploading. So there's like a 256 gigabyte upload limit per day. Or is it the amount of total duration, which I don't think makes sense. So I think it's either going to be a number of a limit or a number of the amount of storage you're allowed to upload, because that makes more sense given that, um, If it was a robot, oh hello, if it was a robot uploading garbage and they uploaded six terabytes of garbage without YouTube realizing, then that's a bit of a problem compared to um, if you were to yeah, get rid of those videos down there, get a pump on the Sam so look in the back, but yeah, they have to. I think they just have to see, double check what I'm uploading is not something other than silent drone videos that will eventually be part of a bigger picture, like this tree here. Hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna stop all these recordings and stuff and. Uh, what's cracking but yeah I got that today so that will be yeah, that's 22 gigs 60 Ooh, that's where we get into the so theoretically I should almost be able to upload all of that today just in the blue, none of this stuff. 250, almost 256. So, we'll see. And then I found a video on YouTube that somebody else was asking. But, yeah, I'm gonna try to find out the answer today. So, keep in touch with that. All right, we're back. I was going to put these headphones in. This is the first clip. So I'm just gonna grab this mic, and yeah, this is the first video of the day. So I'm gonna keep track of, uh, yeah, how many clips in total. Yeah, there we go. So how many clips and how much space am I allowed to up, put up there per day? And look what I just did there. I uploaded a duplicate. Puta. I just wasted an upload. Okay, so, well, that's even better then, because 312. I did that apparently too, and so it looks like I'm at 
three two four. No, three ten three twelve. So now three eleven. Sorry, I'm just starting off pretty confused here. So I'm going to pause this actually. Oh, sweet. It's just about to be 533. So you got one, two, three, four, and then three plus two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen. And then you get seventeen and seventeen. But when I see seventeen, I think of one plus seven, which is eight. And then 2024 being 2 plus 2 plus 4, which is 8, and that is year of the year of 8, or year of infinity, as in infinite possibilities. <laughs> so that's why you should upload all of your videos to YouTube and use it as a personal online storage in case your hard drive breaks. So, these are all that remains from this folder. The morning mist. I just do this, so uh, upload. There's only six. Yeah, actually, I usually, I usually do six at a time anyway, and then I let it catch up because I don't want to strain it too much and then um what i do is put this over here a little bit slide this over and then i would what you can do is select all of the folders uploads and then uh, add them all to the playlist at once which is super handy because when I first started doing this, I was doing all of this one at a time. Yeah, and then you can uh, set the the date, and then that will change it on all of them, which is awesome. And I definitely appreciate that way more, and I'm overly excited about it because I did it the, the hard, longer way. Not hard way, it's not hard, it's fun, but I mean, compared to doing the description here you can just make a description for each folder and then by doing this as well when i come to a new folder say um eh, the sunset riders that brings me back to this day and all these memories and um yeah you'll have me googling the location again to get more information and looking at it on the maps and stuff. And actually, I think there's a bird in this shot that's the same color as the orange and black, the oyster catcher. I know there's an oyster catcher bird in one of these shots and it's cool. Oop. There, there, it did just flat past there. The... That's crazy. It's like blurred in front of them. And you got the uh, orange and black of the beak matching this orange. That was cool. Yeah, there we go. So, Too bad I wasn't panning up already as the bird swooped down. See, I was a little bit late in that, but how, how do you know the bird was going to come back in the shot? And this is also uh, quite old footage, so... I was just having fun with all of these clips. It wasn't really until the end of the videos where I was trying to get uh, incorporating the, I don't know, what you would call types of shots that are already on paper and have names, rather than just seeing where the waves, what direction the waves are going, the clouds are going, or the way the land curves around, or something like that. But anyway, let's get to 
finishing off this because I believe I got all of those up there now and I was showing you how you can update the description of all of them so if you were to do this yourself and as far as leaving the title the original name for YouTube discovery I wouldn't recommend it because when I look at the analytics the search People are not finding my videos through search. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that's a, another little video. But I'm leaving it like this so I can search my own channel, see? And at the end of the cycle here, or whatever you want to call this, when I have everything uploaded, I'll be able to just sit here and go through all of my hard drive without it being plugged in and causing it to have unwanted stress. But yeah, I'm going to finish this screen recording for a little bit because that will save space and whatnot. And make another one when I'm a little bit more, have a little bit more to show for today's uploads. And then I'll go back to here and probably get more distracted, but yeah, finish uploading these and then bring to all of these. Ooh, there's actually some, uh, oh, I meant to go here. Jeez. There's a really nice shot. Oh, this is when I had a phase of naming my videos like that. And I really regret doing that actually. But there is a cool sunset, shit, sunset shot here of Daniel walking across a bridge. Yeah, I think, yeah, here we go, watch this. I think this is the one. Yeah, the clip will start probably like, boom. And he'll exit out of the bottom corner too, I like that. And then you got the leading line, the birds flying, leading you to the mountains in the back. Yeah, it's just like a nice intro clip to that location. And that was the first time I went there out of many, let me tell you. I went back to that spot a lot. And personally, I could do a better job flying and walking but but you know i got the controller in my hand anyway so what i'm trying to say is this is an active track mode with the mavic 2 pro and look at the clear subject and it still couldn't do spin around but then again i didn't use the computer modes the ai intelligent flight modes too much because i like to fly manual because it's funner so I, I can't really speak too much on behalf of the intelligent flight modes, but I did use them enough to determine, learn how to fly manual, even if that could be measured in percentage and you were flying at 20% capability, you're still probably gonna be flying more smooth than the uh, computer. But maybe not with the newer drones or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to pause this stuff here and hopefully we can see. Well, let's see, actually. Yeah, we should be able to up. If there's a gigabyte limit of 256, all of this should be uploaded today. But then if there is a number of clip limit, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Because well, I guess there's not too many clips per folder, but. And I am uploading every one of them initially, and then I will go back through them all and mark them for ones I can permanently delete and ones that I can use as 
transitions going through a cloud like fade to white fade from white fade to black is it a wildlife this is just kind of yeah this was working in the vineyard days I think there is 78 other 78 people here from all over the place working together definitely one of the highlights of my life I'm trying to find my van where am I parked up at can't remember I think it's right here yeah right there yeah here I am <laughs> it's funny that her name is Chelsea actually she done well but yeah looking forward to uploading this stuff oh this was an, a cool this was one of the times where I was trying to incorporate the maximum vertical tilt upward <laughs> of the Mavic 2 Pro and then slowly come down and pan down at the same time I kind of screwed it up somewhere along the way here yeah, see how I changed movement directions, but I guess you could start to clip right from here yeah, as it tilts down and up. And this is just a cool way to introduce forest and trees, because as you get lower, the river disappears and the background gets closer and tighter. And you're just in the trees. All the triangles and the bridge here. But at this time, I didn't have a clue not too close in the near future from recording this video that I would be driving across this bridge again working as a beekeeper for Taylor Pass Honey. So that's interesting. Oh, hello! Yeah, when I drove past the roads back here, and when I drove past here the first time and saw how lined up these trees were, and oh man, I couldn't resist but pulling over and walking on the, uh, walking through here, risking my life with some sheep with horns, so I guess they would be goats, but nonetheless, <laughs> he did not want me to paw hots. Oh, yeah. oh, I hear a uh, vehicle. So that means Roy is home. So I stopped this recording for sure now. So it seems like it is a size per 24 hours issue and not an amount because I'm guessing this clip here was too big to upload without it breaching the cap. That's why it allowed me to upload this one afterward and then this one afterwards. Because that would mean these two clips combined is still less the size than this one clip here. But by the looks of it, for today, we're not getting the full White's Bay Beach upload. And we got more, um, more vineyards, vineyard. So November was pretty much, went to the beach and then worked. <laughs> and December should be a uh, crate day at, uh, the Grapevine Backpackers Special Day The Archer River Anyway I got some Wither Hill sheep Some nice light To go into the Rest of the sheep clips 
And uh, yeah, I got a cool top down, some personal. Yeah. This was actually the 20th of November, so that's a lie, but more vineyard. Showed you this earlier today. And then, uh, yeah, this clip here I actually put in the grapevine group, I think. No. No, it's the one where I uh, go up close and then pull back. Yeah, this one. I was actually uh, down here, and I was happily down there. I wasn't down there because I was avoiding people. I was just trying to get some shots at New Year's Eve. And then Sachin was the one who um, ended up calling me down to join everyone. And it was so nice and genuine and stuff like that. And I knew I was filming not because I was avoiding people. So because I was offered, while I was doing it willingly and happily, it just made it even better. And that's why I, uh, yeah, I got one more drone shot on the way home from uh, that last shot there. And I noticed this black, or sorry, the white duck sticking out amongst the other ones. And look at that, that's just hilarious. And I got other footage of ducks from underneath the water perspective, filmed with a GoPro, and there's eels down there going across the lens and stuff. So yeah, I can't wait to get into that. Yeah, look at that January we start off feeding the ducks. I know, I'm feeding them bread. But yeah. Ducks. Beautiful colors. Yeah, this is a, uh, is it this one? Well, this is a nice, uh, what was this, longer one? Yeah. This is the Crepevine Backpackers, where I started another special chapter in my life. They're all special. Come on, it's your life. You know? But this was called the White House. This was my little editing barn here. I did stay in here, but not really. I slept out here in the driveway. That's my van there. And yeah, oh, there's Brian out front. I can't see who that is. And this is the main house there, and beautiful backyard. You got swings and kayaks and a river. And I mean, it was such a such a special time, <laughs> surreal. That uh, I knew I was in at the time, but I didn't really know the extent of how those days would forever change me and how I feel right now looking back at them. But yeah, there's should be me and Rick right here for that sunset. I went back there sucking back the beer. Look, 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 look at them exposed, sipping. There's Harley and James, the mom and pop of the backpackers and yeah they those two are the ones who made that place a home and there was Sachin look he must have forgot his salt or pepper look ah fuck oh, there's Ellen she got her song black and white still gotta do something with it and then we got uh, Germany UK 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 Canada Ireland, UK, um, UK, UK, Germany, not sure where you're from, and I can't remember your name, we didn't really speak, which is unfortunate because I really wish I could remember your name right now. But we all have one, we all have those unicorns. And I was like that for a lot of people too, just kind of, uh, just there. <laughs> Doing my own thing, huh? Oh, kind of, just like that, just creeping. 
Okay, not really. Because I got those videos coming in hot. Anyway, that's the backyard. There's more Lagoonies, so I'm going to have to rotate all of these clips because I noticed if you upload a clip like vertical to YouTube, it automatically gets uploaded as a short. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now is figure out or tally up every video that I was allowed to upload today and see how much size it is and then see how many clips in total. So I will get back to the, you when I've done that. Because who wants to, uh, well, maybe if I, if I was filming myself, so it's not just a voiceover, it'd be a little more interesting. I could get some tea or coffee. I don't know why I said tea. I went on the coffee's hard. But yeah, this is just uh, dipping my toes in water, I guess. So with myself and talking about what I'm doing and putting those screen recordings that I'm making right now into Final Cut Pro and then filming myself with the webcam or something and then adding that little square video up the top say while I'm going over a clip talking right now and then I'll have the little video of myself up here or something like that but ultimately, I'm going through all of these clips so I can uh, take some notes and get the narration, so to speak. Just more information on each clip and what memories. I'm curious to see what memories come back and how I would put a story together four years after this clip. Say, March, April, May, June, July. Four months from now, it will be 16 days until July 20th, and that's when the four-year anniversary of this clip would be. And then I am not on the beach with my friends in the van filming with a drone, smoking a joint in the back. I am I'm alone in my brother's basement, like a forgotten pet. But, luckily, I can self-nourish enough to get myself back on my feet and adventure like this again with people who I care about and who care about me a lot more than family. <laughs> or what is family? Show me family, as the Lumineers would say. And that's also why I'm watching all these videos so I can comment on them in my other on my other accounts and uh, do stuff like this I haven't responded I don't know what I got some new comments see uh Bobby's life uploaded transition broken elbow to broken foot Rotorua New Zealand to Glace Bay and uh yeah I guess got it's a gold mine in here. I'll just leave it. Leave, leave this little recording like that. It's a. I got a gold mine. Here's some new comments from today. Bell view. So I guess that means beautiful view. Maybe. Nice. Heart happy face. Good image. Happy face. Pretty. Lots of scenery. But brother, do you not notice the? Look at the shadow. I think it might be a shadow, but yeah, the whole point of this was, uh, no, that's garbage, so that will get deleted probably, oh yeah, it'll definitely get deleted compared to the ones that are there, so I'll just pause that shrinkage, go to the example I'm talking about very quick, <clears throat> maybe this one? Nope. You yeah, like see how the it's like a ghost ship. The way 
the tide is kicking up bubbles here. It looks like steam coming off of these two uh, stacks, smoke stacks. And then this is Daniel's shadow as I got him the wave as like a ghost ship. And then as he disappears here, his physical body is no longer existing, but just his effect in the ripple, but in a timeline, I guess. But yeah, and then we got the slow rise up. I think I screwed up there. No, that's, that's usable, yeah. And then he walks. Yeah, look at this. This is cool because he come, looks like he just appears. And then I was like, I yelled out, stop. I was like, stop, when he got behind here. So it looks like he just disappears. But in reality, he's hiding down here. And I know there's a way to mask that out in Final Cut where you could make him not there. It's duplicating the layer and then putting a little draw mask over this and putting the selection over here. So it takes this circle selection and copies it over there, holds it in place. So yeah, he's gone. And look at that addition there, that beautiful bird seagull coming in. The old shithawk. Right drawing attention right over the smoke. Perfect. And then across the, if you notice, if there was a center of a screen, say like right here. Now, this is a top down. So if I were to put uh, just a normal video, normal view looking forward, <laughs> two dimension, or sorry, three dimension, and a bird flew across the screen that I have, you can make those two clips transition with each other as the birds pass the middle, and then you can yeah go from one location to another in a cool way. But yeah, this was me and Daniel in a ghost ship. Got the smoke in the back. I just like, I like the pictures from this, but yeah, let's do that math and I'll get back to you. Up there, closey, closey, on the screen record. Actually, I may as well record the last few steps of uploading. So, yeah. I'm just going to put Blenheim because of, it's pretty much Blenheim, it's like Blenheim surrounding area. I don't have to be specific to the vineyard. But I will, with the photos and the photo book and stuff like that, I'll put the actual location. So I will, I'm allowed to edit a few from White's Bay. Perfect. So now I'll go up here. Turns out Ace Viticulture sold out to Hortus. Which is interesting. So now, White's Bay campsite. Yeah, yeah. I'll just put White's Bay Beach. Starting here. Ones. Yeah. And copy that. White's Bay, no, that was November 1st. And I remember because that was uh, such a good way to start the month. Because the first of the month pretty much is like a mini New Year's. And you get 12 of them. And when you're, well, when I was living in New Zealand, like I was, you just have a different uh, sense of everyday time. Well, for the most part. When you're there for like two weeks, as some people do, and try to get a bunch of stuff in, I mean, I couldn't imagine the stress of that, being in New Zealand for two weeks. Definitely better than nothing, but... I went there for a minimum of a year and I'm working a holiday visa and then ended up staying for 
or three years, or three and a half years, and go on about mm, 88 days unlawful, but not really. <laughs> and that's a, yeah, that's a story for another day. Because technically I could get a Section 61 visa, I think it's called, where I went unlawful, but I had valid reason. And yeah, my reason was valid, according to a lawyer and a couple other uh, people I spoke to that gave me some advice. And I wasn't too keen on paying $500 an hour for something like that, but... Anyway, when you're talking about getting permanently... the risk of getting permanently banned from New Zealand... Also, I should be talking about this, because this is what I'm recording for. Alright, mass developing of tags. <laughs> It's nice to have a second monitor here so I can make these two screens. Use the screen as like two. Because it would be pretty hard on a MacBook. This monitor here, I don't know how big it is, but 20 inches or something, I guess. Maybe 24. I used to know in my gaming days I'd be able to tell you almost the exact. But. Yeah, copy and paste the description, and that goes to all of the ones from White's Bay. And this beach here, I tell you, I think it would be White's Bay or Barangi. Well, they're pretty much the same, White's Bay and Barangi. They're about a 30-minute drive away from each other, because you have to go up and, up and around, zigzagging around Dirt Road Mountain. But you can fly a drone from both of the beaches there and back on one battery and it's pretty quick if you go in a straight line the beaches are pretty much right next to each other but I would have to say Rurangi would be the more special one because that's where in terms of me and Chelsea our story because there's a camp spot there and spent a lot of nights there in the van camped up and listen to the waves and I went back there by myself and this is November 2020 we were there well I, I remember being there again in July July 2021 and that's when I got some really cool misty yeah look at this just look at it um, that's a good I guess this could be a good example, but there was one clip I really liked. I think this one? Be, no. But I mean, just get a look at that. This clip here, the wave comes in from the corner in a sec. Yeah. And just look at the mist. I never seen, at this moment here, I never seen mist like this at an ocean before. And my initial plans was to film somewhere else, but as I was driving there, I looked over to see what the conditions were like, and I noticed that I could see all the fog, and safe to say I made an immediate backup to make my way over there. But look at this. There's a certain shot, and I'm starting to panic because I don't see it. Yeah, there's birds and fog. But yeah, this is what I saw. I was over here. And then, uh, I look over and I see all this collected, and I straight down this little... Yeah, look at that. This is... That's for Rangi Beach. Well, I guess that clip is garbage. What? I think I'm missing something. No, that would be alright to use just because it's pretty, pretty quick. But there is a clip here that I'm starting to worry about. It is something like that. It's a pullback clip. Okay, this looks familiar. Hmm. 
Oh no, where is it? Nope. Uh oh. Starting to panic. It has to be here though. Sorry for dragging you through the hoops like this, but. Sorry, yeah, there it is. Jeez. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Sorry for that. It just, it will start right as that wave, the wave goes there, and it will pan down. And this here reminds me of Lord of the Rings, where Arwen, I believe, she calls on the horses to come down the river. When Frodo got sick with COVID there. Yeah, go get a booster in the elves. But here we go. Uh, yeah, I love this clip. Now it goes right to that beach, and then, or sorry, yeah, right to the swash here, and then I can switch right over to. Ugh, don't even get me started with that clip. Yeah, watch these birds come in over here. Right as that wave breaks, goes right across the screen, it comes up, nice on the side pass here, more mist, there's a bird right down here, and then boom, introducing this tree, where it's not so covered in fog, there's like a burning in the mountains, and there's snow cap in the back, not yet winter, well it is winter, July, but you're talking about Blenheim. Like you're gonna get any, you're not gonna get snow. But yeah, let's uh stop this and go back to here because I think I did the white spade. So would this all be done now? Let's see. I kept this because yeah, see, it's like a shape of a heart here in this one there. Perfect. So copy that. Probably sabotaging myself in search results by using an underscore, a period, and that in title. But I don't care. Does it make sense to me in the end? White's Bay, here we go. Mabra! And then boom! There goes all of my 68 subs getting over, uh, hello, get this guy subscribed to, uh, we've been shooting off in the comments together, and, I mean, who doesn't like a drone friend, but anyway, um, yeah, I think I got 68 subscribers, and I upload over 100 videos a day, so, the fact that everyone didn't unfollow me, through sheer annoyance, is something else to think about, but I gotta get my hard drive copied because I don't really feel like stressing anymore about uh, permanently losing all the footage on it. I don't think you understand how much, like, I, uh, <laughs> how much I randomly think about it and have dreams about it. I think that's why I got. Everything on this 5 terabyte hard drive backed up identically almost to another 5 terabyte hard drive. And then I got a 2 terabyte SSD hard drive from SanDisk that I have all my drone videos on. And then I have that duplicated onto another 2 terabyte HDD hard drive with the spinny part, spinny disk in the middle. And then I also have drone footage backed up onto two or three more hard drives that are just chilling. And as far as keeping your memories of photos alive, uh, that's a lot less stressful than videos. And this looks like the better thumbnail to use there because this person is cut off. 
and they're not cut off here, which is more pleasing to the eye to me. Drone media playlist. Pop you off in there. Night's Bay. November 1st. Correct, correct. And then, yeah, this is what I do. And I wish there was no YouTube upload limit because I would sit here and do the whole hair drive of drone footage at once and then switch to the other camera, like the, the GoPro. Yeah, probably the GoPro first after the drone and then the Fujifilm X-T1 and then the phone. Actually, the phone is so personal. There's so many clips, too. There's so many videos on the phone. And then it's going to be a bombardment of videos to my subscribers. But you can turn notifications off and stuff and mute me for a week or whatever. Or just watch. Because I currently have an iPad I'm signed into with another account watching my videos. Watching my own videos, and I like like them from time to time when I glance over and I notice that I didn't like it already and then I have my phone next to me on the other side on another account watching the same playlist of videos and yeah I'm liking those ones when I can as well to get those impressions and to get my get known to that algorithm you know that I'm not uh, some sussy old robot saucing up a bunch of nonsense well i guess it could be nonsense to, depending on who's watching but not me and i'm sure not to the people who choose to watch too but one thing i'm excited about is getting the full catalog of drone shots where there's birds like flying across the screen dead center and all the top downs, all the wildlife shots, all the... Just get them all categorized. So then I can start putting highlight reels together and... Yeah, just getting more themed with the posts. And then I can combine all four uh, video mediums and create a series videos or movies. If I put all my videos from earliest to oldest in chronological order, it would be like 10 hours long, I think. And you wouldn't even have to add music or... You could make musical montages with the drone videos since they're silent, but... Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. But yeah, you wouldn't really have to do much because it's already... Your life is the movie already. So, yeah, you just got to recognize the connections and the synchronicities and what makes, like, there's a lot of times where I'd be like, okay, if I were to hire all these people, I would need to hire 78 people that are pretending to be vineyard workers and have all the, the white work truck with the logo on it and pay for everyone's lunches and all that stuff, which would be awesome to be able to do that but yeah I just started looking at my life a lot more like a movie set and I can I can choose when to film how to film it what lens to use and how to tie it into other videos of my life that I collected Ooh, that's kind of cool effect I'll use that and this will be the last video I think I'll be posting today on this account anyway and then I don't, know, I don't know what I'm gonna do after this but I'm pretty sure was that 33 seconds yeah that's that special 33 seconds oh my god don't get me started on the 33 but it has to do with Cromwell backpackers and then I realized it was a special number in the universe and yeah, but that's done for today.
So if I go to my account theme, One hundred videos. Okay. Bye bye.